Give me five minutes. Eu só preciso de cinco minutos. Just five minutes. Only five minutes. I'm 11 years old. I'm Bilish Ndaya's daughter. I live at Karonga and I learn at Integrity Orientation Center School. The life in camp is so difficult because when you don't have even anything or you don't have money to buy food, they sleep like that. The big challenge here in camp for children. It's not all of them that are going to school. Their mothers can even send them to go and sell in the market so that they should eat. Others also want to learn, but they did not have money to pay for them to learn in the I would love to put rules. All children should go to school. When you are a parent, you should not tell your, your, your daughter or your son to go and sell something in the market when you are staying at home, it's not good. I want to become a doctor so that I could assist the people who I need. Because this is my dream when I was with eight years, I did want to be a doctor. So my challenge, if I'm not a doctor, I'm not the well. The people who look this video, should just turn to God. If we are living here in camp, it's because of God, because He's the one who makes, who did has to move where we was and come here and come. So what I could say that they should be thanking to God every day, because when they're getting something to eat, they should thank to God, because the others are not even getting something even to drink. Mike, uh, I'm really happy because Kena touched my heart with her words, her sensibility, her awareness about the, the situation that we are living here in and out the world. I'd like to introduce you uh, the first question. Uh, she said that the big challenge, the big, the big difficulty for people who live here in camp is food and school. Uh, school is the most important thing for the young ones because when there's no school, it means there is no future for them. And the half of the population in the camp are children. Even if she's going to school, she's not selfish. She's also thinking about those who are Very not nice. going to school. Exactly. Nice. And about food, you know, uh, food it's the basic thing that someone needs to have in his life. And if you miss food, your, all your mind is going to be turned into uh, how can I eat? You cannot think any other thing until you find the food. Exactly. When she says, my big dream is to be to become a doctor, it means uh, to take care with people, and especially exactly. elders. Exactly. More especially the elders need care. So how to think about that, it's really make me to be happy. Mike, uh, very nice topic uh, from uh, Kena. Mm -hmm. If she could change just one thing in camp, yeah. I'd like to change the rules, the norms, the law in camp. Uh, because it's not good. The parents stay at home and the children are around selling something. They should be in school. Mike, yeah. please. Uh, the parents need to have responsibility. When you have children, you need to orient them. For children, money is a weapon against them. Because when they get to use of touching money, they are not going to be focused anymore at school. You know, money is like, uh, uh, sometimes money became a passion, become addiction. And the kids will not like anymore school because they will get used to that life. Uh, it's a street message yeah. for parents. Yeah. And the, when we ask the Kena about the, the message for other teenagers or people around the world, she said, guys, every day, because you have food, house, parents, health, say thank you, God. Exactly. You know, uh, she knows what she's passing through. 
That's why she said, okay, guys around the world, you're supposed to be thankful knowing that what you are getting is because of God. Give me five minutes. Give me five minutes.